welcome back guys uh, in this lecture we are going to learn another question that is very important for the interview room so uh, the question is how many types of memory area in the allocated by jvm right so how many types of memory area are allocated by the jvm so we have a uh, class area heap stack program counter register native method stack right so these are the memory that is allocated by the jvm to uh, for the for a, for a program and uh, for application to execute successfully in the uh, in, in in the uh, application right so let's understand one by one so we have a first class area that is known as uh, also known as method area right so class area stores uh, per class structure uh, like uh, we have runtime constant pool fields are in the class methods data are there and some of the code inside the method those things uh, those uh, part of the code will store inside the method area right or class area so per class structure data will be in the class area and method area another one we have a heap memory that is very very important for the jvm because in ja because java uh, everything has object okay so without object you cannot do anything so java uh, sorry heap contains the runtime data area so all the uh, object uh, memory will be allocated here okay so what are, what are the data required for the object on the runtime that will be in the heap memory okay what i have told the class area will class method area will contain all the uh, cl per class structure data like uh, i have told you key fields data will be there method uh, data will be there all the uh, code inside the method will be there and uh, runtime constant pool data will be there okay so whatever the memory is required that will be here only another we have a uh, heap memory means all the object allocation allocation will be here only okay so all the runtime data will be here in the heap memory so it is very important for uh, jvm sometime uh, you will see if uh, if your heap is uh, out of the memory then J jvm will not, not run okay and the your program will get a stop so heap is very important for uh, jvm to run the program and application second third third one is a stack uh, we already know the stack what a stack store a stack store uh, frames uh, frames in the sense uh, we can say uh, all the method calls will be here like whatever the uh, instruction uh, per uh, uh, main method will be there all the uh, method uh, calls will be here all the uh, threads will be here right so java stack stored frames and it holds local variables partial results and it, it it plays a part of method invocation and return right so whatever the method we are calling and method is returning the data will be stored in the stack only so and we also know in the multi threading that each thread has a private jvm stack and uh, that will be created at the same time as a thread is going to be invoked started in their life cycle and when the thread uh, completed their life cycle then the stack will be a stack will release the uh data right okay so whenever a new frame is created each time a method is invoked a frame is destroyed then the method invocation completed their life cycle and a stack uh, will release the memory okay so this is the whole cycle that i have already discussed in the uh, uh, multi threading lecture if you don't know go to the lecture and understand uh, what is stack memory and what is the runtime stack i have given a topic there next we have a program counter register program counter register okay so the program counter register contains the address of the java virtual machine that contains the instruction uh, going to be executed yeah it is executing okay so whatever the current execution is happening through the jvm all the in, uh, all the uh, uh, address will be uh, there only so if you have let's say if you have uh, uh, five to seven instruction and all uh, required some address some data will be there so program counter register will contain all those address for the program okay and the last one we have the native method stack means uh, it contains all the native uh, methods uh, that is used in the program and application 
so uh, like we if we are using a c c++ uh, uh, functionality in the application so those things will be go, go into uh, goes into uh, native method stack right so this is all all about the uh, what are the types of memory area which is allocated by the jvm so we have right so thank you guys